So this is the purchase pile. You can see I got a bunch of mystery sets in the back here. This is actually a giant D20 bundle. I got some specific sets I bought. I got some cool little mini, you know, regular D20s individually. I've got the aluminum set. I can't wait to get to that one. A giant metal D20, super awesome. And then this big boy. I can't wait to show you guys what's in here. So let's get into this pile of goodness. First up, I bought some specific sets because I thought they looked really cool. This is a uh, Chandra. It's just that your plastic, like black with blue looking, just looks you know, it's like a classic look that I kind of dig, especially for like a more darker or evilish kind of character, or maybe the campaign setting's a little kind of darker. I can open it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just your classic, you know, polymer set here dice but i like the, the inking style choice there you know that the font's really cool kind of gothic vibe to it just looks really good it's just a classic kind of little dice set and it was on a you know great sale so i had to pick it up but yeah one more roll here for the little <laughs> this one was exciting this is their starry night dice set now i if you watch my other video about the games of games or weird stuff that had that art set for uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night, which was just amazing. So I really like the look of these and a fraction of the price of those, but still kind of capturing that essence. Man, look at that. Yeah, those blues shine nicely there. Mixed with that gold. This is a cool looking set. The white numbering stands out. It's not really popping. Well, the D4 there, you can kind of see it in the light here, but in person, these are popping really nicely. Like the gold swirls there on the percentile hill. Yeah, there you're getting some of that shine. Yeah. I mean, it's not the most expensive set at all. It's, it's a classic little polymer set, but the effect they've achieved with these is actually really nice for the price. So if you can't afford the Gatekeeper game ones, check these out as an alternative. You'll be happy. Now these next two sets, I'm really kind of excited to take a look at these. They're almost like an illusionary metal. It's um very, I got the copper and the blue. So these really kind of reminded me of what Sirius Dice is doing with an illusionary stone. These are illusionary metal, so I had to check these out. Yeah, that's the copper set. Okay. Ooh, get it out on the table. Come on, guys. Wow. It's funny, those do look like metal. Like when they're just sitting there on the table, but <laughs> you pick them up and it's super light. Like it's really kind of a disconnect there in your brain. Like these should be a lot heavier. Yeah. I really like the art style on these. They've got cool little weapons all around there. And each one's kind of themed a little different. You got like it's either a chess piece or a shield. I don't know, up to you to decide. Yeah, look at that one. It's, those helmets? <laughs> a little hard to tell you're on the artwork. Now that D20, it's a little busy, but it's it, to me it's a little easier to read than it actually looks like it. You know, the numbers do, they've done a good job. They're kind of bold. They, they do have a lot going on around them, but it, you can tell what the number is, so it's not too bad. Yeah, look at that D10 there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so... It's crazy, that, that that looks like copper. They look like copper dice when I'm sitting here looking at them on the table, but as soon as you pick those up, you're like, hmm. So yeah, if you don't really care for the weight or the price of metal dice, but you like the look, these might be worth checking out. So that's the copper set here. Here's the blue metal ones. Let's open those bad boys up real quick. Kind of do it off camera, I can do it a little faster here. All right, let's get them on the table. Yeah, wow. Whatever paint they're using, they're, it's a good job. Like that, it's got that shine. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, see, it's reflecting there in the light. It looks like it's metallic blue. That, that's really cool. That looks like an aluminum set, but yeah, it doesn't feel like it at all. It's got it. You know, it's it's like a. I'd say these got to be resin dice because it, it's weightier than just standard acrylic. But yeah, wow, that's really cool. And they've got this um this texture to them that's. It's, I don't want to say gritty, but you can feel it. It's not slick or smooth. So yeah, it's got a really interesting, these have got to be resin just like the serious ones. But yeah, there's the blue, the copper. I think those actually pair really nicely. I might mix this up as one giant metal set for my next um, like Paladin or Fighter Knight kind of character. Because yeah, these are cool looking dice. I really dig the uh, artwork they're doing on there with the swords and weapons and all that. Really cool vibes. Really cool appearance, and yeah, like I said, a fraction of the price if you're looking for that styling of metal dice, but you don't want to spend the, the dollars for it. 
Last but certainly not least is a mini dice set here. These are the Fateful Shale 10 millimeter dice set. Oh, pop that little thing open. Look at that tiny little dice cube. <laughs> go free, little guys. Go free. Dang. Yeah, that's a big dice set. It's actually it's a 12 piece dice set. Man, look at that. That's a lot of little dice. Look at this little D2. <laughs> it's, it's cute. It's I mean, easy to lose that though. Man, that's smaller than like a Euro penny. Jeez. All right, let's get these in the hand so you can hear them. <laughs> yeah, what more can I say? I really like the color combo on this with that blue, silver. It just kind of, it works. It's a good mix. I always like that color combination. Um, these are a little more gray in the numbering. I, I usually like a kind of a little brighter of a silver, but these aren't bad at all. And I like that it's a 12-piece set there. So if you want the, the functionality of a 12-piece set, but you're trying to really save on room here, there you go, buddy. <laughs> That's your solution. That's a cute little set. Just uh, be careful with them. Don't lose them when you roll them on the table. Use a tray. All right, let's move on to some D20s that I purchased. This is actually a pack of them, and then this is the individual guy. So these, um, I've started seeing some of these around here. This, like the dragon eye effect, where it's a liquid core, but they put an eye in there instead of just glitter, so it follows you around. Pretty cool. I really like this one. It almost reminds me like the Eye of Sauron. So you could use it as a dragon or for like a Lord of the Rings game there. And yeah, just the silver numbering actually does work pretty good on that orange background. Two. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I'm playing as the bad guy, I think the players will like that. But yeah. Not doing... Gosh, it's not my day on these dice. All right. Let's put that guy to the side. Ran out of room in the dice jail already. So yeah, this is the three pack. These are the bigger versions of these guys, but they're uninked, so I'll get to do that myself. So let's bust these open real quick. Ooh, I'll do this as quick as I can here, folks. Yeah, came in a little dice bag. These are nice, like, I like these. They're, like, the cool artwork, it pops. They got, like, that neon 80s kind of retro vibe that I kind of dig. But yeah, here we go. Ooh, look at that blue guy. That's cool. What color do you think would work well with that? I'm thinking maybe, I don't know if a white would uh, wash it out too much. Look at this guy. Look at that purple. That's kind of eldritch cosmic horror looking right there. That's pretty cool. And then look at this. This is psychedelic. This is like, a, <laughs> you know, like that warp frog from Futurama. That's what I'm getting from this guy. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Man, listen to some of those. I can't even tell what I rolled yet. Okay, 15. Okay, a 1. And a 16. Okay, I guess these are the keeper out of those two. So, yeah. These are liquid core eye dice. I got to ink these guys. I'd love to hear what your suggestions are, so let me know in the comments. All right, let's dive into some mystery sets. Here we go with our seven-piece dice market set. All right, come on. Give me something good. Ooh, look at these. These are different. Yeah, what kind of... Whoa. That is, it's like a silvery mist with a hint of purple in there and the silver lettering. That is kind of gnarly looking. That's, um, ooh, that is something else. That would be like a really good, like, um, almost like a, I mean, they could work for space, but I'm getting really kind of like purgatory, kind of like, if you're in some sort of like smoke world kind of vibe, like heavy industrial, where it's just like really smog choked and stuff. Man, that's an interesting set. Pretty cool. It's actually rolling pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Here's the 12 piece mystery set. Kraken. Here we go. <laughs> like Ooh, hey. Okay, that's almost like a. I've seen similar sets, almost like the cinnamon uh, whiskey kind of, that's what they've called them. Like, that's very interesting. Like the. Almost like a blood drop in yellow there. Very cool. I mean,. I really like how that gold stands out. That's, that actually pops really nicely. I'm, I'm really surprised at that. Is this a dice set I would normally use? Mm, I don't know. It's kind of iffy for me. Maybe if you're playing like a vampire character there with that kind of just a diffused red in there, almost like a hint of blood. I don't know. What do you guys think? You like this one? Here we go with the 14 piece. <laughs> I really like some of these like beyond the standard seven dice sets where you can add like mystery sets. Kind of neat. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Another layered set here. Man, look at that. The 
yellow, teal, the blue with the silver sparkling in there, the silver numbers. Those numbers actually stand out really nicely on that. Look at that Chomp D20. That's pretty cool. You got your regular D20s, D4, the mini D20. <laughs> I do like that they include that. <laughs> your D2 here. Very cool. Now, this is a little different because the D4 here is just the standard one, so it's not that truncated one that I got for free in the other pack. So it's kind of interesting that they have different variations and different styling in here. I guess you really never know what you're going to get with these mystery dice. But yeah, this one's actually pretty cool. Like, I, I'm kind of digging this one. I like how that looks. Okay, let's try and get all these in the hand. That's two hands. You gotta use... Woo! There we go. Okay, 13, a 2. 1. <laughs> Another 2 on the mini guy. I'm rolling with major disadvantage today. This is not good. <laughs> All right, let's, I gotta move on. All right, this is our last mystery set for the day. It's a misfit mystery set, and there's supposed to be eight dice in here. So let's see what kind of combination we get here. All the combination today. Ooh, okay, someone else. Hey, okay. Get a little card here. Certificate of adoption. Okay, there you go. And a cool little sticker. Ooh, I'm gonna throw that on something. Man, yeah, let's take a look here. What did I get? Very interesting. Wow. So, yeah, AP set there. Okay, D20. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. That's almost like um, like a sunset kind of vibes going there. The gold on the orange and the red. That's very cool. The D12 here. Got a little bit of opalescence there with the purple and blues. A little shine in there. The silver. It actually stands out pretty nicely. Where's my percentile? Okay, classic kind of polymer die there. The purple. Ooh, this almost fits that uh, random set I got there. I wonder wonder if that's the same style. Okay, D10. Ooh, man. Look at that D10. This is cool. I, I am digging this die. That is really gnarly. Wow. Yeah, just the Mylar film they got crinkled up in there. And that like, purplish blue transparent. That looks awesome. Man, that is cool. Really digging that guy. That looks really cool on the table. All right, moving on. D8, kind of a standard diffusion and a resin here with the gold. Not too bad, but not kind of my thing. This D6 is pretty cool. I like that. It's got the black and the gold there, kind of getting B vibes, especially when you look through it there. Sparkle. And the silver actually stands out really nicely with this. I'm glad they didn't do like a gold or a yellow color. I think that would blend in a little too much. But that silver pops really well. D4, ooh, this is sharp edge. Look at that. Now, this is like a clear one, but it's it's similar vibes, but I like the coloration they did in the resin there. This is cool, though. This this is like a, like a starburst, like really kind of pop celebration vibes, but it could be like almost like a data stream if you're doing like a sci-fi, cyberpunk kind of thing. That'd be really cool for like character that, you know, internet hacker kind of type. And then the D2... It's a little more laid back, purple blacks with the silver, but I, I'm digging the vibes, you know, almost kind of night sky vibes. It just, it looks nice and clean, stands out nicely. So yeah, that's the eight-piece misfit set. Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's neat that they have, you know, you get sharp edge resin dice in here. You just get all sorts of mix of different styles here. I'm really digging this. I'm going to have to find this set because I'd like to have a whole complete set of these. These look really cool. All right, that's the misfit die. Don't forget the sticker. Now we're getting into the premium items, but I couldn't pass these guys up with the prices they had them. They were great. So first up, look at this solid metal, gigantic Chomp D20. This thing is wicked. Look at that. Oh, man. That looks amazing. That is heavy, too. That, geez. That feels like a little brick in the hand. I'm going to be careful on my die tray here. Gently. Ooh, there we go. All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I spent money on you, so please come through for me, and you did. 19, I can't complain about that. Yeah, this is the Full Metal Gothic Brass D20. This thing is amazing. If this thing goes on sale again, do yourself a favor, pick this up. Look at this, this is gorgeous. I'm not seeing any issues here. This feels great in the hand. I'm digging the artwork style here. It's almost an Art Deco kind of style with that brass. Just really draws you in, easy to read. I mean, look at that. You can see that across the table. I mean, it's gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay 11 17 there we go back on target <laughs> let's keep going <laughs> this is the eight piece aluminum set that i picked out so here you go man gorgeous look at those dice okay i gotta get these out these are just amazing looking come on 
fingers worked on camera. <laughs> One of these, I can feel it. It's a good weight to it. Like I said, you pull out, it's a really like firm foam here. It really holds the dice nicely. But you've got that padding at the bottom of the tray, and then there was padding on the top here that pops out. So, yeah, solid little case. Works well. It's deep enough to actually roll dice in. But the dice themselves, those are definitely the stars. Look at these guys. Classic color combo. I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. That, just that black with the white. Easy to read. Works in a lot of situations, you know? It's just. It fits. Man, those are gorgeous. Listen to those. Woo! There we go. Nine, come on. <laughs> Nineteen, there we go. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, aluminum dice. You're coming through, right? That's that's what I want. That's what I need. All right. Yeah, man. Take a look at these. Again, it's got that cool font choice that they use. It's that kind of gothic look to it. Not like heavy, but it's just a slight, you know, styling there. Man, those numbers stand out nicely. Again, with the chamfer on the edges here, so it's it's not sharp edge, but it's nice looking. Like I really like that it's got those like lines on there, especially like I said on the D6 here, they do the edges too, those corners. Just really sharp looking. I mean, these are these are my fancy tuxedo dice. <laughs> but yeah, take a look at these guys. And they've got their symbol here on some of the dice every once in a while. Yep, they're in the D20. But yeah, oof, man. Easy to read, look great, feel great in the hand. They're aluminum metal dice sets here. I mean, these are these are well done. These are really nice. And it's a D8 set, so if you need a D2 for your stuff, you got that there. I mean, the only thing they could do is make like a 11, 14 piece set where you get more D20s and D6s, but you're going to pay for that. <laughs> but the quality's there. Rest assured, quality's there. All right, let's go to the last item. All right, folks, we're at the grand finale here. Look <laughs> This dice bag is appropriate. Look at that dice goblin here holding a giant cracking die. So yeah, this one matches the last set here. This one, I've been, I've had my eye on one of these for a long time. And the price I had it, I couldn't pass it up. I mean, it was, it was cheaper than I've seen smaller resin D20s. So this is their 75 millimeter aluminum D20. I got it in the black, had to match the set. So when it's those big stand-up roll moments, boom. Look, I mean, this thing is like, it's the size of a baseball. This is heavy. I, I'm going to have to look on their website how, how, how heavy this is. But, um, this feels like holding like a half gallon of milk, if, if that helps you out here. This has got some solid, solid weight to it here. This has got to be close to five pounds. Man, I don't I don't even know if I could roll this thing in this tray. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't want to break the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe you roll this one like on the carpet in the in the living room or something where you got some room. <laughs> watch out for small children and animals and uh statues or something but yeah amazing this is a showpiece you know like i'm i don't even know i don't even need to use this just to be happy with it again they kept the styling of those chamfered edges that it's the same font style it just it looks amazing i mean this thing is gigantic this is one of the biggest d20s i have and this is solid like this is <laughs> If you had like walnuts at the table, you could just crack them open with this sucker. <laughs> you have any issues. Do not roll this on a glass table. You will not. That will not be a good time. But yeah, wow. Look at this thing. Gigantic, gigantic aluminum D20. This is this is like a little art piece. It, it, oh, it's functional. Don't get me wrong there. But yeah, this is something you just set at the table just to <laughs> kind of get a reaction. <laughs> but you know what? You have that gigantic end of the campaign boss battle pull this sucker out like that would be perfect for that that would just be such like an end cap to a great game session like that so yeah Vulcan dice amazing love this gigantic aluminum d20 it is awesome so awesome so this is only a sampling of what i purchased but i just want to show you some of the amazing stuff you can get at kraken dice especially when they're doing their stacking sale like i got some incredible free stuff like lots of cool stuff here but yeah i mean just to give you a sense of scale on some of this stuff that's the regular D20, okay, that you get in the standard set. This is their 35 millimeter. This is a 55 millimeter. And then this is the 75 millimeter. I mean, that thing is crazy. Like, look at that thing. They've got their illusionary metal sets, you know, aluminum, super high quality sets, like great dice there. Like I said, they've got a July 4th sale going on right now that actually, I'm a little jealous of this one because if I'd spent the same amount, I would have gotten, they've got like a half pound for free and a full pound of dice that you get as freebies 
So I love me dice. That's what I would have liked to get. So that is some, you know, like, but I'm happy with what I got. Don't get me wrong. Totally awesome. Lots of free dice. Lots of cool stuff. Check them out. Cracking dice. They've got some really quality items here. All right, everybody. Remember to keep rolling. Thanks for watching. Bye.